Alright, so this is going to be quick. It's only a 40 foot living space. <laughs> right here behind me, full size residential refrigerator that we love. Uh, you know, the, the refrigerator runs off of four uh, 6 volt batteries and there is a 2000 watt inverter that came on the coach. The end result without talking tech is that it runs for about 8 hours on a single battery charge then we fire up the generator to, to charge the battery. Wow. Right behind you, I'm still working. So this is my office. I work for a major telecommunications corporation and I am very fortunate where I can work from home and ultimately transport to the road. What a wonderful setup. Look at this setup, it's great. You have a nice office setup. For those of you who work from the road, this is an awesome setup. Look at that. So did you convert this? Was it originally, uh, was so, it like this originally? Well, the, the table is what it is. It's, it's the, the, the RV dinette that you see in a lot of, a lot of RVs. The table actually pulls out to, to oh. seat four people. Um, but we really, we never really set up the table anyway. So we just converted it into my office space. And if we need to, we can just put two chairs and it's, it's a table again. So my keyboard is wireless. Uh, everything else can come up and then we still have our table space if we choose to use it. Now, do you have to stow it when you are driving or is it mounted or? Everything, uh, the only thing I, I put away is I, I put my keyboard in this basket that I have right here and it stays up there. My mouse, all the loose ends go there. My phone charger is a double stick adhesive down. The monitors, that's the big one. They are they are fastened, permanently fastened. Wow. Uh, they'll come up, they're, they're held with one bolt. I've got a fancy monitor arm. Uh, I don't really need these bases here because they would stand up without the base, but I think it just adds a poor support and yeah. durability. The printer, printer mounted down too? The printer is strapped with adhesive straps. Wow. Uh, it's the straps that we used to use in the RVs on the old televisions before uh, we, we had flat panels. That's cool. But it can come up if it needs to, but for the most part, it's permanent. Okay. And I've got uh, got storage space underneath. Uh, it's funny, all of my cables I put in a Ziploc bag and stuffed them underneath this unit. So uh, my Ethernet you cables are, are in one bag. You are wirely, you are wirely connected. Uh, wirelessly, wirelessly connected. connected. That, that's a fact. And so, this is this is a whole slide, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the wall is what they call super slide. It's wow. one big slide. The, Pretty much the entire length of the coach. Yeah, beautiful. Look at all this storage. Man. You know, I'll say this. It looks like a lot of storage until you move <laughs> into it. Yeah. And then it quickly runs out. Um, in the uh, right behind me here is the uh, the kitchen. And the nice what I lo love about this kitchen is that pretty much everything converts into usable counter space. So underneath here is the gas range. Uh, we've got our Instapot cooking right here, and uh, we're actually making some chili for our road trip tomorrow. Uh, over here, the sink, and the sink containers all lift up. And again, it we use the, uh, the appliances that we need, features we need. Uh, has a nice pull-out excess uh, counter wow. space right here. Very nice. And you know, it's not the biggest in the world by any stretch, uh, especially from the house that we just moved from, but it works. Convection oven, uh, storage down underneath the stove, drawers, etc. Beautiful. RV kitchen. RV kitchen. And this is on a slide? Yes, the refrigerator and the kitchen are on a slide. And do you like that? Has it been working for you? Uh, so far. Okay. Being that all the slides work and everything functions like it's supposed to, yes. It's a good thing. So behind, behind the kitchen, opposite of the kitchen, is Lexi, the, the, the traveling... Uh, Hi, Lexi. The traveling dog. Hi, girl. She's, She's the beautiful. big silent type. She's beautiful. Behind Lexi is our our uh, sofa. It's an RV type sofa. It's bolted down to the floor, mm -hmm. um, and then this section actually telescopes in, so that when we're traveling and the slides come in, we can actually get past it and uh, and walk past it. Very good. Off to my left is the TV, along with the electric fireplace. Uh, I got to tell you. When I first saw the electric fireplace, it looked a little cheesy. However, when you turn it on and it blows out hot air, acts as an electric heater, it's it, cool stuff. It's not cheesy anymore. No. Uh, and we got Lexi's, uh, that's the Lexi solution there. That's her, uh, the food goes underneath the, the cabinet or the uh, underneath the bowls. That's wonderful. Right behind, uh, moving back aft, we have a half bath. This is very easily accessible while we're going down the uh, down the road and we're folded up. 
very nice. Opposite the half bath, we've got some uh, big storage compartments behind these doors. Washer and dryer. Look at that. Isn't that nice? How, how does it feel to have a washer and dryer on the road? I love it. I wouldn't know what to do without it. I know some people manage just fine, but I am a washer and dryer person. Dawn says, I don't know if you could hear her in the back, but Dawn says she loves it. She's a washer dryer person, and she said this is awesome. I can't stand to have a hamper full of clothes. It has to be empty all right, the time. Right, right. That's <laughs> awesome. For a lot of my female subscribers um, and my male subscribers who don't like laundry laying around like me, that's a that's a nice feature. On the wall, we have an RV Debs original. Oh, look at that, Debs. That's the yellow moon over Alabama. Beautiful. I remember that. <laughs> and moving back aft is the bedroom. Uh, this uh, Tuscany uh, Model 40FX features a queen size bed. We've got lots of nice storage on here. Uh, television in the bedroom as well. We store our board games and clothes and whatever we need to store back here. Pretty simple. I do keep a conventional fan because it just keeps mm -hmm. the air moving. And it's pretty handy to have. Uh, we have storage underneath the, the king size bed. Storage back behind the bed. Air conditioner. I've got to show you this because this is precious. And you get a real sense from these two that they are truly in love with each other. And that is awesome. Most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> well, in this kind of space, you would hope so. And I'm going to have you go because it's a tight space, but uh, back aft is a uh, very nicely equipped bathroom. A shower big enough for a big guy like me. Big guys like us. Yeah, like us. Yep. A closet. Closet. And a, uh, a commode and, and a nice sink with nice counter space. And I got to say that the bathroom is one of the uh, one of the features that I loved about this rig. Very nice. This is beautiful. And like I said, 40 feet. There's not a whole lot to the inside, but uh, we love it. <laughs> okay, let's he let's um, go ahead and head outside and take a look outside. Okay, so we've just finished the. Um, inside of this amazing RV. And so now Mike's gonna take us on the outside. Mike? Sure, so the outside, uh, this is where all the, all the work gets done. Uh, it is a 2013 Thor Tuscany model 40 FX. Uh, underneath the, fork, uh, the, the forward hood right here is a 8,000 watt Onan diesel generator. It draws diesel fuel from the same tank that the, uh, the engine in the back does. Uh, little features that, that are kind of nice is that uh, there are rear view cameras that are in the uh, rear view mirror so that when we're going down the road and we flip on the turn signal, we can actually uh, see if there are any cars in the camera on the monitor, the, the dashboard of the monitor. Love that. Uh, so there are, going, moving along, um, storage. There is a lot of storage underneath when, when you compare to other rigs that I've owned, but when you take everything from your house and condense it and move it into a rig, no, there's not enough storage, but there is uh, one and a half all the way through from one side to the other wow. in the bays. Uh, there is actual slide out tray where, where the cargo, the tray takes up space, but the cargo can easily mm -hmm. be pulled out uh, from, from the outside. This unit has uh, two propane heaters. It also has two electric heat pumps along with the air conditioners. Look at the size of these tires. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> The wet bay standard. That's where all the uh, in inputs and outputs go. And since it was freezing here uh, a couple days ago, I've got my little tiny electric heater that Jason Wynn referred me to. Oh yeah. And that kept us from uh, from freezing up. While it we got were pretty cold too. It did get cold. In the back behind this compartment, actually, it's locked up right now. But that's where my uh, my batteries go two batteries to start the engine and four batteries to run the coach inside the house. Now this is a diesel. It is. It is a 38, uh, excuse me, a 380 horsepower uh, Cummins diesel with an Allison transmission. Wow. <laughs> this thing is massive, man. <laughs> it's fun. And then this is your tow. Yeah, so this is called a tandem tow dolly. And the purpose of this thing is that I can put a motorcycle or a golf cart um, and take it down the road with me. 
and put our uh, tow vehicle on the back because it acts like a tow dolly as well. How nice. Very nice. And so we're uh, we're getting packed up for our journey out tomorrow, so that's why it's, everything's loaded up and we're ready to go. Well, Mike, I got to tell you, you have a beautiful setup. Thank you. And uh, it's been so nice having you guys hang out here for the week. It has been so much fun being here and meeting you. And oh, thank uh, you. You know, my only wish is that RV Debs was still here and Chico was still here. I know. Uh, however, they've moved on, but we'll see them on the road somewhere, I'm sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, folks. This concludes the the RV tour.